All right, let's continue our discussion on Stoicism. We were going over the meditations by Marcus Aurelius, and we last time we did section 23, but I'm jumping forward a bit, sorry, section 23 of book 10, simply because there is some good stuff in between that section and the one I would like to talk about today, but a lot of it I find is quite repetitive and really kind of covers stuff that we have discussed before in these videos, and I don't want to come across too repetitive. So I'd like to jump forward to book 10, section 37, which I think will be the last section we'll do with that book. It's it's a short one, but I think it's a very good one, a powerful thing to remember. As far as you can, get into the habit of asking yourself in relation to any action taken by another, what is his point of reference here? But begin with yourself. Examine yourself first. I think there's two interesting things here. One thing is that I'm just using myself as a, as a frame of reference. I think we are we are eager to judge, and even when we are aware of that, I think we still very easily do so and do easily judge and how do you stop yourself from doing that because you can say i'm not going to be judgmental today but then often it, it happens anyway and i have actually found that doing this asking yourself where is someone coming from is a very good way to, uh, to, to stop yourself from judging someone unfairly. I can give one example, which is probably not the best example, so I'll, I'll, I'll give another one after that. But a short while ago, I was at a post office because I had to mail a, a, a parcel. And um, there was a lady, there were two people in, in line in front of me was a lady who was shipping something and it it took uh, a long time. She was also, I think, objectively speaking, a little obnoxious by asking all sorts of questions that would have been easily answered online. And there was no reason she wouldn't have been able to look it up online. She looked like she was maybe five years older than I was. So um, I, surely she had access to all that technology. Anyway... Then she was finally done, and in front of me was a gentleman uh, holding in his arms probably 20 thick, you know, those bubble wrap envelopes. And I thought to myself, well, here we go, I'm going to be here for an hour, because if all these things need to be addressed, and they need to print the labels, and they need that this is, this is going to take a very long time. And of course, there was only one cashier working, so... I thought, well, here we go, here we go. And I was already kind of, in my mind, I was already kind of thinking like, well, this is going to be terrible, I'm going to be here all day, should I just go home, should I just come back later, is this really something I need to send today, it would be nice if there was someone else working here, etc. And then it was finally the gentleman's turn, probably after both of us had been in line for 10 minutes because his lady took so long, and he put his envelopes on the counter and he was in and out in, I think, genuinely 15 seconds, because it turned out that everything had been labeled at home or looked like it was a corporate shipment, so at, at whatever place he worked. And honestly, 15 seconds. He put it down, the post office lady scanned all these 20 parcels, and he walked out, and it was done. It wasn't even any payment. It was already all arranged. I took longer getting my parcel measured because I hadn't done it at home. And then the label affixed and all that stuff. So I was reminded, as I very often get reminded, maybe instead of judging, and I mean, it wasn't that I was just standing there fulminating or being angry. It wasn't like that. It was just sort of like this, you know, this sort of mild annoyance. But... I thought to myself, this is, this is it. Re remind yourself of this. 
ask yourself where this person is coming from. We immediately start judging. It's going to take too long. This why, why would you... Because I, I thought to myself, why would you drop off all this stuff? Why would you have this picked up if it's a professional shipper? Why would you... And it took no time at all. And this is interesting. And I, I think very often we have, we have people... Uh, we interact with people who are coming from a certain place. Now, let's, let's make no mistake. Sometimes people do annoying things and they should know better. And most of the, well, a lot of the time, I think they do know better. But they're just being annoying. But then when you approach this from the perspective of, but you don't know what's going on in their lives... Like I, I, at some point, uh, it was, uh, was, was today, I was, I was driving back from work because even with COVID, some, I have one class that I happen to be teaching sort of face-to-face. I, I won't get into all the details because it's not that interesting, but sort of face-to-face. So I, I'm at the college sometimes. And uh, there was someone where we could be doing 60, <clears throat> was doing 40. Then was about right in front of me was about to turn right and um, I kind of had to hit hit my brake because all of a sudden they they, they stop to, to turn then they don't turn they continue and of course my initial response was one of annoyance but but then I well I don't know if that's of course but I mean it was annoying it was a little annoying and I couldn't pass them either but but then I realized but but they're looking for something. It was very clear that they were looking into streets, looking at street signs, etc. How many times have you driven around like that, where you are in an unfamiliar city or where you're looking for something, you don't know exactly where it is, even sometimes with, with modern aids like navigation, you can't immediately find where you have to go because something is off or something is blocked or whatever. So my, my homework for this, this month is trying to apply this. Get into the habit of asking yourself in relation to any action taken by another, what is their point of reference here, right? Where do they come from? And and I really think, because I noticed it today, like just today, before I had even, like just today, I noticed it in that, that car situation that I thought to myself, you've done this too. I, I have done this. You, We've all been driving around, looking around for something and you, you know, you don't know where to go. And immediately... That was the remarkable thing to me. Immediately, that annoyance disappeared. It just dis- dissipates because you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I, I have been there. I have done that. You know, and then you do it too, and then you also expect other people to behave. Now, I mean, if you're going to be doing thirty kilometers where you should be doing sixty, then of course you're dangerous. I, I'm not. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying, just approaching a situation like this which can still be obnoxious but approaching it from that perspective might give you another view of where that person is coming from what their frame of reference is i mean you don't know someone is driving a bit erratically i'm I'm, I'm sorry that i'm using all these driving examples but i think for me again stoicism is very much about everyday stuff right and driving can be an everyday thing where you let's let's be fair where you can have some annoyances um, and um, I think that they're very often thinking about these kinds of things can be very helpful if someone is driving a bit erratically you don't know what just happened to them maybe they've just had some very very bad news right and that doesn't mean you have to excuse all behavior but trying to get a better grasp on someone's frame of reference can help. I really think it can. And there could be absolutely no reason for their behavior. They might not just not be paying attention. They, they, they might just be, be out of it or whatever. But overall, that's not really your concern. Your concern is keeping calm in there and keeping an even keel because that way you get to enjoy life. These are my thoughts for the week. So that's what I've been thinking about. Next time, we'll start on book 11 of 12 of the meditations. I hope that this was useful. I hope it's given you some food for thought. By all means, leave your comments because I think these videos really 
attract very interesting comments from people. So do you think this is helpful? Is this a strategy that would work for you? Just let us all know. I hope this was useful and um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.